Welcome, bright viewers, to this week's edition of Healthy Living, featuring Dr. Judith Orloff, who will discuss intuition, constructive energy, and spirituality, and how they can be used to achieve physical and emotional healing. Dr. Orloff is a board-certified psychiatrist who has been recognized by U.S. publication Body and Soul magazine as one of our nation's top doctors. As the newspaper USA Today states, Dr. Orloff voices the message that intuition works as a potent therapeutic force that can help us lead smarter, saner lives. Dr. Orloff is a member of Natural Health Magazine's advisory board an assistant clinical professor of psychiatry at the University of California, Los Angeles, USA, and a lecturer. She is also author of the international bestseller, Emotional Freedom, which has been made into a public television special in the United States and DVD entitled Judith Orloff, MD, Emotional Freedom Now. Her other bestsellers include Positive Energy, Dr. Judith Orloff's Guide, to intuitive healing and second sight. Let's now find out how intuition came into Dr. Orloff's life. The way I got into it was that when I was a little girl, I was raised by two physician parents and I have 25 physicians in my family. But I was a little girl who had these very strong premonitions about things. I would predict deaths or illnesses or earthquakes, something like that. It scared my parents so much so that they forbade me to ever mention my intuitions at home. And so my healing path and my development has been how to integrate intuition in my life as a woman and also in my psychiatric practice so that I can use it in my daily life and also teach my patients and readers how to use it too. When I treat patients and in my books, I talk about how to integrate intuition into health and healing. Emotional Freedom, published in March 2009, encourages readers to overcome negative emotions by reacting to them constructively. Here's Dr. Orloff with more on her book. Well, emotional freedom is about how to become non-reactive to emotions so you're not just reacting when your buttons get pushed. It's about using emotions as a path to spiritual awakening, to be able to tune into your intuition and find out the deeper meaning of whatever emotion you go through. It can be anger, it can be frustration, it could be any emotion, but there's a spiritual meaning to every emotion that you go through and you can use intuition to tune in to find out what that is. Fear is a huge emotion that saps people of their power. You know, I, part of emotional freedom is to just make a commitment to the best of your ability not to lead a fear-driven life. And so I have my patients list their top five fears, whatever they are, so they're very clear about it. And then really outline ways you could find courage to transform those fears. And one area where that comes up is in relationships. And I speak about, in emotional freedom, the emotional vampires who can drain your energy. And I bring this up because this is a spiritual challenge too. And it's an intuitive challenge to be able to pinpoint the people in your life who are draining or who are positive. Uh, and with the draining ones to take steps to set limits and boundaries with them and work with yourself. What spiritual work, what intuitive work do you have to do on yourself when you're around these people? And I go through different types of emotional vampires, you know, one being the narcissist. The narcissist is the me, me, me person, and they're only really happy about you if you go along with their plan. What life lessons can we learn if we go through a depression? Dr. Orloff provides her thoughts. 
Well, a beautiful example of what you can gain from depression is deep empathy for others and compassion for yourself. Because when you go through something as strenuous as depression, people tend to beat themselves up a lot. You see, but part of the lesson of depression is learning self-compassion. And when you can be compassionate and loving with yourself and moment by moment, try and listen intuitively to what's good for you in the depression and what can be most loving and kind to yourself and being around loving and kind people as you're going through your healing process, that in itself is a tremendous lesson. And depression is also a good way to beat down the ego. And it's very painful, but depression can teach you humility. And it can teach you how to be humble and not arrogant and not think you could do it all or know everything to know. As a psychiatrist, it's a very essential process uh, to really gain that humility in your life. So you can gain that from depression, gain humility, deep compassion for yourself and others. After this brief message, we'll learn more about Dr. Orloff and her work as a psychiatrist. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. that a doctor learns how to tune into the soul of another person, of the patient. Uh, because when you just go into a doctor and they just give you the lab results and then you're out, it's like nothing happens. You know, there's no healing that happens. You're given maybe a, a direction, but there's no deep soul healing. Welcome back to Healthy Living, here on Supreme Master Television. Dr. Judith Orloff is an assistant clinical professor of psychiatry at the University of California, Los Angeles, and author of the international bestseller, Emotional Freedom, as well as Positive Energy, Dr. Judith Orloff's Guide to Intuitive Healing and Second Sight. If you happen to go through a depression, I hope everyone can look at it from the standpoint of emotional freedom in terms of what spiritual growth I can gain, rather than this is just tormenting me, I want it to be over. You see, that's the linear mind. With emotional freedom, there are two ways of looking at things. One is the linear mind. The linear mind never wants to experience any pain. It just wants it to be over. But the intuitive mind knows that there's a deeper meaning to this pain and suffering and to be able to use it to transform the pain and suffering into something more positive. And it's about learning how to work with pain without letting it totally consume you. To see it as the spiritual teacher, whether it's physical pain, emotional pain, psychic pain, whatever it is, to use it as a vehicle for transformation. You see, it's how you look at it. Besides being a psychiatrist who treats patients using conventional Western medicine, Dr. Orloff also incorporates her deep knowledge of intuition, energy, and spirituality to help her patients resolve issues. Basically what happens is that a patient will come in, I will listen with my traditional medical knowledge about what they're saying. Let's say they have a relationship problem or stress at work or they're depressed or they're anxious. And I'll listen to what they're saying, but I'll also tune in to my intuition. And I'll be open to any images or impressions or flashes of insight or senses of energy that I get in addition to complement my traditional medical knowledge. And so I combine all of that information to help patients. Dr. Orloff shares with her patients how they too can get in touch with their intuitive side, thus enabling them to enhance their emotional well-being and better face life's challenges. I 
I absolutely teach every patient who comes to me how to tap into their intuition to be healed, because I believe that tapping into that inner wisdom, that still small voice inside, will tell us the truth about things, and my patients will inevitably, hopefully, leave therapy, and they'll need to have these empowering skills of how to listen to what's inside, that precious inner voice that I see as being connected to a greater sense of spirituality that spirit talks through that intuitive voice. And once you can get quiet and get beyond the chatter of the mind to go in and tune into something deeper, then that really gives you access to something powerful inside. And when my patients learn how to do this, when they learn how to tune into their gut feelings, when they learn how to tune into you know, whatever forms of information comes through, whether it's visual, auditory, they can use this in whatever stressful situation they have in their life so that it, it's empowered from within. Not only is Dr. Orloff transforming the lives of her patients and readers, she is also helping medical professionals understand the benefits of using intuition in their practice. And what I'm trying to do with emotional freedom and intuition is to teach psychiatrists and therapists how to tune in and be with a person and prescribe things other than medication. Meditation itself can cause the endorphins to flow in the body, which are the body's natural painkillers. And through even a three-minute meditation, you can shift out of the stress cycle of cortisol, the stress hormone surging through your body and causing anxiety, to calm, endorphins, the relaxation response, natural painkillers, which are opiate-like. They're very uh, blissful hormones that you can get going in your body through a meditation practice, you know, or through exercising. I've spoken at the American Psychiatric Association meetings about intuition. So they're beginning to open up, and I think the holistic practitioners are definitely open. We thank Dr. Judith Orloff for sharing her wealth of knowledge on intuition and finding emotional balance in life. May heaven bless her and her work that is bringing peace and joy back into many people's lives. For more details on Dr. Orloff, please visit www.drjudithorloff.com. Books by Dr. Orloff are available at the same website. Please join us next Monday for the second and final part of our interview with Dr. Orloff on healthy living. Esteemed viewers, thank you for joining us today on our program. Coming up next is science and spirituality after noteworthy news. May tranquility and calm always reside within all of us. details, please see www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.